Now, this is without a doubt probably the smallest little video here, uh, just showing how you can build a uh, Python Lambda function in a new container. Uh, this one's going to do basically nothing as little as possible. That's why it's a hello world one, but just kind of show you how you can do the process. Um, it's all in this repo if you want to grab it. And I'm not doing it in Cloud9 as well, just so that there's no nothing special with my environment. I just spun up a very clean uh, Cloud9 environment. There's nothing else installed. I didn't do anything with it. Uh, and you can see I've cloned the repo in here. We've got the Docker file. The Docker file is going to grab the base uh, Python uh, uh, image, uh, Python 3.8, the Lambda from the public ECR. It's then going to copy in the app itself and the requirements file. And the app, again, super simple. All it's going to do is just say hello, hello world. Um, and the requirements file, just to make it a little bit interesting, I've added one requirement, which is pandas, uh, just to show how you could then, of course, add a lot more uh, into that. And this is really why you'd want to be doing something like this. Um, and I'm just going to pump or um, print out the Panda version just to show that, yes, Panda is now available. Um, so that and there we just install basically uh, Pandas and then we just create the image uh, with, of course, the uh, entry point, which is this app handler. So with that, um, actually, the first thing I'm going to do here is just to show that there is no image available. Uh, this one we're going to create which is going to be with this first command, docker build. There it goes, downloading pandas, doing all that good stuff. Um, installing pandas. And this is just the fact that we don't have a new version of pip. But of course, we can ignore that here. And there, we've uh, successfully built it. And boom, there's your image. Uh, the next one will go and actually push it to ECR, so then you can call it from the Lambda function. But I just want to do this really quick to show how simple it is. Uh, you can obviously add a lot more complexity into the uh, image. But if this doesn't work, uh, then you've got something else in your environment that is not set up properly. With that, thanks, and have a good day.